Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to prove to you guys that I don't cheat because I get many people saying that I cheat, especially now since I'm on Pico and people think that the Pico is a cheat. So the first part of the video will just be me showing that I don't have any mods, that I don't have any world scaling. And the uh, second part of the video will be me going more in depth about how the Pico actually works because many people say that the Pico is a cheat. Me as a Pico player, I'll say that it isn't a cheat. And hopefully after I explain to you guys why people think Pico is a cheat and after I explain it a bit more, um, you guys will understand that it isn't. So let's go straight into me proving that I don't cheat. Alright, so... Right now, I'm in VR view, so it'll be all a little more shaky, not as smooth as with the camera mod, which you can see right here. But I just quickly wanted to go over my settings. Alright, so first off, we'll just go into my Steam settings. So right here, we're on Gorilla Tag, as you can see. I don't use any custom resolution multipliers, so my FPS don't drop. I'm a normal FOV, so 100. Because if I change it, it, my game will just look terrible. Overall, over, override world scale? Sorry. Um, this is real, um, for long arms. Right here, as you can see. I put it on, and, well, yeah. Now my arms are just extremely long. And, well, yeah. Then here, I press off again. You'll see, my arms still fully extend. No matter where I point them to how I hold them. So that should prove that I'm not on world scale and right here throttling behavior. This right here is to change your FPS. So this right here is basically low hertz. Additional predictions I don't use because these they don't really change a lot. And even if I don't need them and I don't like having them on, I had them on for just testing reasons. And well, here as you see, I don't have them on. Um, I have the old Steam VR menu. That's why everything looks like this. I can also get the new menu, but yeah, this is just the old menu. I enjoy the sounds and the looks of it way better than the new one. And right here, I'll just quickly do the run. So yeah, I messed up midway through, but you still see I'm still going the same speed. Maybe a little slower because I just got on, but yeah, that should prove that I'm not on world scale, low hertz, and I don't have additional predictions. I can still do the jumps that I normally do. Messed that one up, wait. Okay. Won't be doing that because I just slammed my roof, wait. Alright, so I just quickly checked. I just hit my thingy. I'll try it one more time to do the coke jump. But like I said, I'm not warmed up, so... Yeah. Yeah, that was closer, but... You guys get it. So... That should prove that I... Don't use... Any cheats, any world scaling, anything like that. So... Let's hop straight into my plugins folder. So... Right here... I'll go... To my PC. So yeah, if I go on this PC, my local drive, I think it wasn't here, yeah. Now, I'm going on my Steam, my Steam apps, Common, Gorilla Tag, Bepinex, plugins. Only plugin I have installed is the Edis camera mod, but should I delete it, it'll tell me that I can't. Um, move my Bepinex folder to my desktop. And now, in the VR view. Wait, let me put on my headset again. Here, what I'll do is... I'll just go to my library. Whoops, not what I wanted to do. Whatever. That should prove that I don't use any mods. I wanted to reinstall the game, but whatever. So now, we're back in the game. We don't have the camera mod anymore. And, well, I can still run the same and jump the same here is this is the main speed boost check 
And well, I can just tap the, like barely tap the top of that. But if you have speed boost, you can like jump on top. And for me to jump on top, I have to crouch jump it. Which hopefully the VR view should have shown that I did crouch. But here, just in case. I'll just do the jump like this. As you'll see. I can just barely tap the side of that. I can't go on top of it. Alright, so I just restarted my game again, putting back my camera mod, so you guys can have a good view again. Okay, so now, second part of the video, I just want to go in-depth on why people say that the Pico's a cheat. Um, first reason why people think Pico's a cheat is because it has a built-in VPN, apparently, which I can... It's not true. Pico does not have a built-in VPN. Um, I live in Europe, my tags will be like the smallest bit more delayed than other tags, but it's not like VPN level. Normally when you check someone for a VPN, they have to be tagged, have to stand under the slide right here like this, and then you just need someone to run through them, right? When I've gotten checked by a friend of mine, and well basically what happened is he started running, he went through me, and he got tagged right here. And this is completely normal distance. Um, if you were on a VPN, the distance would be all the way to, depending on how bad the VPN is, anywhere from like, I'd say like around here is like the most normal level of a VPN, and then more. Just really depends what VPN you use. Um, I'm not 100% sure of what I just said is like 100% correct because I don't use a VPN. I also have no clue how a VPN, like, is used. I know how it's, like, supposed to work, but no idea how you're supposed to use it in the real tank. Here's the second reason why people think that the Pico is a cheat. Um, they think that because Pico... <laughs> the second reason why people think that the Pico is a cheat is because it has the most predictions out of every single headset on the market right now. Um... People think that predictions are the cheat because it can predict your hand movements and they think that's that's just gonna give you an unfair advantage of making you be able to go faster. Which I can definitely say that that's just not true. Um, most people think that the Pico is a cheat. The reason why people think that predictions is a cheat most likely is because of Airlink. Airlink is a software on the pure Quest 2 or Quest headsets in general where you can Stream your quest to your PC. So you can play uh, PC VR Gorilla Tag, what I'm playing right now, off of your quest. And the Airlink, well, Airlink gives you the most predictions out of all quest softwares. It still has less predictions than the Pico, but there is a big difference between the two. And that difference is in the positive for Pico. So on quest, you, when you use Airlink, I'm pretty sure you get 150 predictions. You guys can correct me in the comments if you want to. I'm not 100% sure, but you can't control the predictions. Like, you can just, like, swing your arms around, and they'll just go flying. Which, on the Pico, it doesn't happen like that. On Pico, any experienced Pico player that has been playing on it for longer than a month can control their predictions. So, what most people think predictions means is when you go ahead and just fling around your arm, it just goes flying like this. But this is me not controlling my predictions. This is just me holding my controller by the end so my hand wobbles around so that the predictions can just carry through. What you can also do on Pico, though, like that's what happens on Airlink. What you can do on Pico, though, is control the predictions. So right now I'm controlling the predictions and my arm barely goes anywhere. Like, it still flicks a tiny bit, but it's nothing insane. And then when I don't control the predictions, my arms go fucking flying. And I'm doing the same, like, the exact same motion. Just with one of the two, I controlled my predictions, and then with the other one, I didn't. So, here again, this is me not controlling my predictions. This is me controlling my predictions. Which doesn't work on Airlink. 
on Airlink, the quest headset is not meant to have all of those predictions. The Airlink app also is meant to have all of those predictions. It's the connection over Airlink to your PC, and then you have to encode all of those inputs from your PC to Steam again. With Pico Connect, the app that I use, it just goes straight to Steam. You can't play any like Quest apps on Pico Connect, which you can do on Quest. And that's the reason why, well, Steam basically on Quest has the biggest advantage, because you can't control the predictions. And that's also why most people think that predictions in general is a cheat, because the Quest, you can't control the predictions on the Quest, which you can do on the Pico. And, well, that's the reason why most people think that Pico is a cheat, because Airlink was there before the Pico. And when the Pico released and people found out that it has all of these predictions, they thought that it's going to be the same as with Airlink, where you can't control the predictions. But that's just simply not true. Because on Pico, you can control your predictions, and that probably better than with most headsets. Because I can do the normal predictions check, which is just putting your arm to the level of your name tag, and then just going up and down as fast as you can, I can pass that check when I control my predictions. And it's not like an app or something where you just turn down a slider and then all of a sudden, no more predictions, guys! It's quite literally, you just have to know how predictions work on the Pico. And you can just control them. And the only... Well, the only skill where I don't control my predictions is quite literally just on double balls, and I rarely go on double balls. Not when I do like an elevator climb, or like a two-arm elevator, or this right here, like the pinch climb that I do. But when I go onto the double walls and I just flail my arms around, where I like float basically in the center. And that's the only part where I don't control my predictions. And I could control my predictions, but to be honest, it doesn't really change a lot if I control my predictions on double walls or not. Because, yeah, it just doesn't change a lot. And well, yeah. That basically concludes my video on do I cheat. So if the answer is, do I cheat? No, I don't cheat. Pico isn't a cheat. Just, it's hard to like, get people to understand that Pico isn't a cheat if they don't get the Pico. Or if they don't at least try the Pico. The... Most known deep checker and all of Gorilla Tag also plays on the Pico. And well, someone who deep checks people to find out if they're modding to play on a cheater headset wouldn't make sense. And that is because he also knows Pico isn't a cheat. So, that basically rounds it up. Pico isn't a cheat, I don't cheat. That basically rounds it up, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Don't know yet what it's gonna be, but yeah.